Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Uh, I want to start off just by again thanking Brother Chris for sharing your knowledge and showing Dr. I believe Dr. Kim, is that his name? Uh, with Real Bible Believers on YouTube. This man is able to read the King James Version Bible and teach it in a way that very few that have ever been on the earth probably. Just what an incredible man. Dr. Kim, I believe. I should have thought of it better before this. Um, the, uh, I, I, this video here is because of my concern that there is a whole group of people on the earth right now, uh, the Q community, that is kind of left out to dry. You know, no real big major political party wants to touch them. Um, uh, no religious party wants to touch them. Uh, there is a bunch of confusion and uh, influences within the party. Uh, the, de the demonic forces are all over and within the Q community. Okay. And so there's a whole bunch of group of people that are kind of just out there on their own left to just kind of be blah, right? I mean, one of the biggest leaders within the Q community, General Flynn, has called for a one world religion. Okay, and so we know how scary and dangerous this Q movement is. And as I repeat, I'm very concerned that there is thousands and maybe even millions of people that follow the Q movement that are going to be lost forever in the Great Deception. And... It says right here, we just got done doing and finished reading the book of Luke. And in the book, book of Luke, quotes Jesus saying, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying that I am Christ, and the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. Okay? Now, be not take heed that ye be not deceived and who is he talking to he is talking to his disciples his own followers his his students he's actually talking to his disciples to ask them show us some of the signs or or how would we know the signs and he says to his most strongest believers his disciples his apostles his students that have chosen to give up everything and follow him. They're asking him a very serious question. How will we know the signs? And Jesus says to the ones that believe in him the most. Take heed that ye not be not deceived. Now if you believed in Jesus Christ and the Bible and were a firm believer. God-fearing, Bible-believing, Jesus Christ, born-again Christian, you would not necessarily need to take heed that you would be deceived. But in every one of the book, well, I should say, Jesus is quoted many multiple times saying to his disciples, to his students, to his apostles, to the very closest to him on a one-on-one -on -one council to his strongest believers to take heed that ye be not be deceived. Therefore, we know as Christians we can and could be and might be able to be deceived by the devil's tricks. So again, this goes back to there's a whole big, huge Q community that sits there and mixes the words. It's political and biblical. But they only study the politics and don't study the biblical part. This whole group, even though they call themselves Christians and maybe even have been born again, but was on shallow faith and will follow any other of the deceiving things that man has, they might be considered lukewarm Christians and get deceived by man's politics and the great deception. Because again, the great deception is not to fool and trick the non-believers, 
they've already been deceived. It is to trick the believers in Jesus Christ. The great deception is to deceive the believers in Jesus Christ. Correct? So, there is a huge group that nobody will touch. Nobody will want to save this incredible lukewarm of people. There are pastors all over the place that are talking about still to today, right now, saying it's all going to be good. Go after your dream job. That after this pandemic, everything will be better than before. Build back better. And then there's other preachers that are definitely teaching, you know, the, the end time signs, but refuse to touch the subject of Q. Who's going to save the people within the Q community to open up their eyes to let them have the opportunity to hear of the great deception. Because the people that would say, let's say at the beginning that we're following Q, that now realize that, oh my gosh, I fell for the JFK Jr. thing. I fell for all kinds of different, right, deceptions. They just kind of go back into the world. They just go back into the world and follow again man's entertainment. Because they got tired of following politics, following what, you know, the, the conspiracy theories. They know in their heart that it's not right. But what can I do as a human being? I'm just going to go back to the world. That's the lukewarm. Who's going to save those people to show that the Q movement is the great deception? There is going to... Now, what am I talking about? The great deception. What is Q doing? Q is going to be part of the political deception. There is going to be a false rapture. Millions of people are going to be dying from plagues all over the world. Man-made or not, God allows it to happen. Yes, nothing can be done without God's approval. So everything is done in His glory. Now we're going to have Unfortunately, we've already had an unknown amount of people disappear off this earth in the past two years. In the next one year, next few months, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I'm not trying to say that. But what I am going to say is there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be leaving the earth very shortly again. Another big, huge wave of people. And they're going to want to sit there and say that it was a rapture event. And they're going to show all kinds of signs and wonders in the heavens and the moons and the skies and the earth. Showing that the great rapture has happened. And that all Jesus Christ believers have left the earth. And that all you that are left here on this earth... We're lukewarm and we'll be not able to go and be one of Jesus Christ's believers and chosen. Are you with me? This is scary stuff. And so what's going to happen in the law and government and just chaos all over the world? Because of the rapture. Because Just because of the people have been dying and dead. It's part of the Agenda 21. It's part of their plan to do this false this false rapture. So everybody that is a real true Christian believer, if they were tricked to believe that the rapture happened right there in front of their face, think of how many others of them will then now give up the ghost, give up Jesus Christ because of the chaos around them. How many would be able to be strong enough to know that they've been deceived and what they're being told and see around the world is not the truth? Who's going to save these people? Who's going to show these people that this deception is coming before it happens so that they can actually really absolutely stand strong on this earth and grab people and show them that Jesus Christ has not returned yet because we will all see it at the